Hi, here I'm gonna show you how to loop video in Rough Animator. So, let's say we have this animation and we want it looped over a longer time frame. So in this case the background pattern. Select the last frame of the animation that you want looped. Then create a new empty frame. Now select the make cycle option in the top right. The frame now turns green and a new menu pops up. In this menu you have to select how many frames should be looped. So in this case it's correct it's 5. You see it also indicated by the black border which frames are getting looped. If you set too many frames it turns red and the loop won't work. Now to complete the loop we select the green keyframe and extend it as far as we want it looped. The black borders in the looped area also indicate always the full loop cycles. And these are the basics of looping. Now for some extra tips. Let me loop all the other layers as well so it matches the length of the background pattern. And here we can already see the loops don't align properly. Which leads to a jump in the loop when you play it over and over. It's always good if the number of frames of the looped animations are a fraction of each other because then it's easier to align them once you have to loop them. So for example, one animation runs for 4 frames and the other for 8 frames or for 12 frames. Then it's easier to match them up. But here it's obviously not the case. So we have to extend the animation until both loops align. Fortunately here the background loop is quite chaotic and you don't notice the jump if it happens somewhere in the middle. So here now we have a good looking loop. One extra feature that I just discovered while I was doing this tutorial for you are all these extra parameters down here. One setting is the loop mode. Forward is a normal cycle that goes to the last frame and then from the last frame it begins again from the first frame. And the forward backward is like a ping pong loop. It goes from the first frame until the last frame and then it goes in the opposite direction reverse from the last frame to the first frame. The other settings modify each consecutive loop. And I think there's some creative potential here. You can play around with that. Here's something quick that I came up with just to test it. A bit rough, but interesting. Definitely something to play with in the future. So that's it for this time. I hope you learned something and see you next time. Subscribe and all the jazz. Bye.